Chapter Twenty Six. As snow in summer and as rain in hair west, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like then to him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off the feet and drinketh damage. The legs of the lame are not equal, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As he that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that cheweth honor to a fool. As a thorn goeth deep into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. The great God that formed all things both rewardeth the fool and rewardeth transgressors. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. The slothful man sith. There is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. As the door returneth on his hinges, so doth the slothful fawn his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom; it groweth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than suing men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death, so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and sith am not I in sport. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceaseth. As coals are to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a tail bearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a potsherd coward with sillier dross. He that hadeth dissembleth with his lips and layeth feep deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, belew him not, for there are suing abominations in his heart. Whose hatred is cowered by deceit, his wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hadeth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Chapter twenty seven. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. A stone is hoey, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is higher than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before Inui? Open rebuke is better than secret loo. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The full soul loatheth an ani comb, but to the hungry soul yuri bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume royce the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not; neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reprocheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the ill. And hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, rising yearly in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. Wasoer hideth her, hideth the wind, and the ointment of his right hand which bereath itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored, as in water face answereth to face. So the heart of man to man, hell and destruction are noyer full. So the eyes of man are noyer satisfied. 
as the fining pot for sillier and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not for your, and doth the crown endure to your regeneration. The hay appeareth, and the tender grass showeth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambies are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of thy field. And thou shalt how goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maidens. Chapter 28 The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which lueth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. You will men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walketh in his brightness than he that is poor in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by Sharia and mused gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, you in his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an ewell way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. But the fright shall how good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that careth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall how mercy. Happy is the man that feareth always, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is a wicked ruler or the poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hadeth quotusness shall prolong his days. A man that doth violence to the blood of any person shall fly to the pit, let no man stay him. Whoso walketh brightly shall be sod, but he that is prorse in his ways shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poorty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To how respect of persons is not good, for, for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hasteth to be rich hath in you lie, and considereth not that poorty shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more for than he that flattereth with the tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother, and saith, It is no transgression, the same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart stirreth feepy strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delirred. He that cheweth vento the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall how many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase.